morning world. How is everybody doing today? How is my beautiful wife BF doing? We are about to go make the lady at our post office unhappy with us. She's by herself today and we've got to send only three international packages, but she doesn't like doing those. They take a lot longer. Yeah, typing all the food. <coughs> She's not as fast as uh, the other big kid that's in there, because Kia can, she flies through them. Kia just had to uh, bring 30 some packages. You can't fit everything on the counter. <laughs> I mean, what are we going to do? Well, I started putting the, I grabbed one of the mail bins and put the little ones in now. Ooh. Is that roadkill or a, a stick? Uh, it could be. <laughs> Been seeing a lot of roadkill lately. Yeah. So you're in the sticks. We're not quite in the sticks. We're, not in we're, the we're sticks. stick adjacent. <laughs> but yeah, we are. Uh, Can't be crooked, sir. Been a busy week. So busy. Didn't uh -huh. do as many pins today as I Usually I got everything done that needed to be done except for some blanks that were sent to us and um, the two giveaways for this week, which I'll get those first thing Monday and start over again. Help this pack this weekend. I need the help. We got big plans someday. Grew into a big corporation and had <laughs> employees to help, but it will be very nice. We need money to do that. We're at that awkward stage where we've really got more work than just the two and a half of us can do, but we don't have the financial means to pay someone. Well, we could pay them, but, it, I mean, it, paupers pay, yeah. and I don't want to do that, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, just like a little small part-time gig, a couple of days a week, maybe, for someone to help. Yeah. Um, but this is, this is a kind of a common thing that I've noticed with some of the blank makers and pen turners that we've come to know over what almost last two years um the issue with having someone to come in and help part-time is you know number one finding someone who will do the work uh what were those birds were those Wild turkeys were those or guineas days, days of that, or... i don't know but they were cute um, okay, so finding someone that will actually show up and work and then finding someone that you trust Because this work is being done out of your home So it's like I'm not just gonna place a help wanted ad and just any stranger that applies bring them into my home to work. I'm not um, So I, I don't know it's, it's just it's just awkward feeling and yesterday we we pushed the button we we <laughs> went ahead and placed the order for our next round of diamond paintings which are including the pre-orders that people paid for um, to get their copy of my sword and so we've got those coming and then from our own money we were able to do two images two more new images one is it's another indie creates and then one is we haven't formally announced her yet she i think a lot of people are going to know who she is um because she's in our community but anyway that that'll come um i think we might wait and just tease that just a little bit and wait until and do like some kind of fun formal like surprise but the indie creates image that's coming 
it is going to be our biggest one yet. What what was it? 55 by 75? Yeah, 55 by 75 or 50 by 75. It's the biggest one yet. Yeah, it's either 50 or 55 tall and 75 wide. It's a landscape orientation. And the votes that were received through the Facebook group, a lot of people that, I mean, there, there's over 2,000 people in the group, but not that many people voted. So I know it's a small pool of votes, but those are the people that are showing interest in being active. And I know a lot of times people aren't seeing posts in groups unless they actually go there and look to see. But anyway, uh, the image golden is the one that got the most votes. So that's one that we went with. And I think sharing the images that were, some, you know, some of our options, people, I mean, they, they even commented, I see the dilemma. Because yeah. <laughs> they're all amazing, and they are. And we just blown away by Indy's artwork. And um, we had hoped that maybe we would be able to go ahead and do two of hers. But once our manufacturer came back and gave us the quote for these three kits, you know, well, two new and the one reprint, we were like, okay, we're only doing two new ones at this time because y'all, there was, there's someone famous, I don't know if it was a comedian or who it was, but they were basically saying, you got to do something every once in a while that puts the fear in you. <laughs> it put the fear in us yesterday because we were left with a hundred dollars in our account um and that was terrifying so we there is no doubt that no one no one can ever say that we don't put everything we have into what we do because literally i mean it's not all of our money to the last penny but basically all of it when you consider there's bills that have to be paid there's food that needs to be bought so we can eat gas because we all know how the gas prices are going right now and that was terrifying yes it was terrifying i mean <laughs> whenever we decide to, to start a new generation that's you know always my main worry is when i see to be priced i'm like Ugh. Yeah, but and then it's like it's on, like the best willing to take the chance, you, you know. Yeah, it's gonna sell bad. But me, I'm more of the. I guess I look on the the worst case scenario, and she looks at the best case scenario. We take turns doing that. Yeah, we really do. We we very well balance each other out when it comes to that because when I'm positive, you're more worrying. When you're positive, I'm more worrying. As she says, I get in my own head a lot. Uh, uh, same. Like, I'm like, uh, <laughs> All right, so I think this is a good sign. There's There are no cars currently here in the parking lot. So let's go ahead in here real quick and get our butt kicked by the mail lady, and we'll be back. All right, we're back. She didn't kill us this time. Yep. Well, we were in there talking about food, and damn it, we're hungry now. Mm -hmm. So, we got to go get some of the shredded paper that I'm using to put in the spring mystery boxes, like just as cushioning for shipping, you know, just to make it fun and pretty. So, we got to do that, and while we're in that area, we're going to go get something to eat. Do you want to go ahead and get dog food, too, for you know? He's got like two days left, I think. Two or three. Mm, I will see. Talk to your people. Oh, dang. I forgot we was even running. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're... Yeah. Like she said, we balance each other out. When I'm positive and she's negative, she's the worrier. I'm worrying she's positive. But it seems like whenever it comes to getting a new, you know, generation of a paint started, I don't know that. Because I know 
you know, the, it's going to be a big chunk of money. <laughs> and I'm like, Ugh. yeah. Well, I mean, because we're only able to get like 20 or 30 of each one. Yeah. And just that, I mean, that's it's so expensive. Like, we were talking the other day, and we, we're assuming, assuming now, we don't know, this is not factual based, but we're assuming one of the largest, most popular dime painting companies, for sure, has got some investors. Yeah. Um, you got to. And that's kind of like the way to go, really, but I'll be honest, I don't have a clue how to go about getting investors. Yeah. Like, I don't know any rich people. The, you know, we want to get bigger. You know, we, you know, we actually, when we're riding around, we see, like, buildings that are empty now. Like, hey, we can, you know, if we had the money, you know, we should get that, you know, building. And, like, Beth said, because she used to work in this one building, so she she knows there's space for, like, printers, and then we could print our own dime mm -hmm. But they said, that take a lot of money to get started up and like, it for yeah. sure has enough I mean there's yeah. there's room for trucks to come in and out to make deliveries and pickups there's room for manufacturing there's room for packaging there are offices there's room to set up for like a crafting space for people to have gatherings get together parties whatever retreats I mean I hate to call it a retreat because you wouldn't be able to sleep there yeah, but, just, you know, there, there's so many options in that space. But it's like, we, we, I don't think we'd ever be able to get enough with just the three, the, me and my brother turning hands, and, you know, and then Beth, you know, doing the packing and the getting in touch with contact, manufacturers for other stuff. It's just, I don't think we'd ever be able to to make enough money to do no. that you would be, you know and then you know we we're like she said we were talking about you know some of the bigger diamond painting companies like they've got to have investors assumption on our part we yeah. don't mean any offense yeah just assumptions it's just we're just you know because we're we, we want to you know we're continuously growing which is offering, amazing yeah, offering more but we know we were already in a cramped space before we started our own business. <laughs> now yeah. it's even worse that we know we either need a bigger home, but we can't afford that. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, uh, so we're stuck. You know. Well, let's see. We know Craftably has a brick and mortar store down in Texas. And I want to say they bought or leased, rented, whatever, the space that was right beside them to expand. And now uh, Robin and Ben at Distracted by Diamonds are, they have recently announced they're opening a brick and mortar up in Ohio. So that is super exciting. What's a brick and mortar? A physical store location. Oh, see, like I was talking about. Yes. If we ever could get that, that, that place, That's what yeah. brick and mortar means. It, okay. It's it's a physical building location. Okay. Well, that's what I, you know, when I was telling Beth, like, how I wish we could go. That's, like, one of my dreams, too. And also be able to still sell online around the world. But I was just like, it take a, we'd either have to get go in and well we already sell online around the world it's well, just yeah. Yeah, the the international stuff for sure is not as much as the domestic u.s things because of shipping yeah. and because we're small we cannot you know get a competitive shipping yeah. rate like the large company yeah the only, um the only thing you know that i that we could possibly do, which I don't know if we could, you know, handle that, you know, is, you know, go to the bank and do a pitch. You like a, yeah. I don't, 
where we are in our personal finances, yeah. I don't think we're strong enough. Yeah, yeah. We, we are plan. greatly improved from where we were two and three years ago because we've really been working hard at it. Um, but it's like we don't have collateral. Yeah. We don't have, like, and, and unfortunately, the fact of the matter is they look at credit scores and credit history and ours just it's improved but I don't think it's strong enough yet so that's what I'm saying right now I think we're just kind of stuck yeah. and just have to keep doing the best we can with what we have um, and because we're still improving we're still changing some things to see if we can make things a little bit smoother on our side yeah. which the new process I think I think it's it's working great for you I mean and I've had a few people message me and they like it that way because they don't I don't have to message and be like what shape what thickness you want because then they're like then we have to exactly. think exactly like, and then go scroll through and try to find pen shapes they're like this and, has got so to talking be about the custom that. lists for the shop that are lit or the custom options that are made available in the shop once a week yeah. but I, I can say that I'm still struggling with the process like I have to remember hey I've got a box I have to check every day to make listings for people for you know pick a blanks for the group or for blanks that are turned or sent to us to turn Edward puts them in one specific spot because there was that incident a couple weeks ago where someone's order of five pins got misplaced didn't get misplaced they had fell over into well for a period of time there for a couple of hours to us it was lost and you were mad at me because you were like you had to have sent it out to the wrong person because we couldn't find it he was for real mad at me thinking i did something wrong when i did but anyway we were, we were like, okay, we've got to do something different. No more putting finished pins on my desk. That's a problem. It was annoying to me for, for the longest time anyway. I'm like, it, I want you to put them in one designated spot so that when I have a break in what I'm doing, I can then go and move on to that task. Instead of stopping a task to do that, then going back and then forgetting where I was and having to start all over. And then when my brain squirrels, it's like I yes. forget what I was doing originally, then go on to something else and then never circle back around. And it was just a hot damn mess. Well, my thing is when I wasn't doing that, then you weren't making up. Like, Did you make such a such listing yet? That's why I started putting them on your desk. Like, <laughs> You've always put them on the desk because there was nowhere else to put them. But sometimes I would stop what I was doing and make it, make the listing right then. Or other times I'd be like, no, I'll have to do it later. And, and I'd push it to the side and then I'd forget. But I'm still trying to do. But right now there's just so much trying to get done because of these mystery spring boxes that we sold back in January. I didn't realize how long it was going to take me to pack them up. And maybe I'm just being a little too meticulous with them which that's probably a lot of it. But honey, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, trying to get everything put into the box in just the right way so that it all fits. Because I'm gonna tell you what, if y'all, if any, anyone watching this received the Christmas mystery box we did, which it wasn't really a mystery because we showed what was in that one. But if you, you received the Christmas one or you saw anybody post a picture of it, the shiny black box that we used for that one. Well, I can't. Okay, I better shut up because I'm. No, I'll go ahead and say it. The spring box is a little bit bigger than that one, and it is full. <laughs> but I want, like with everything, I want to make it fun and a positive, happy experience. That's why I'm wanting this specific, bright, colorful crinkle shredded paper to go as the the shipping filler you know just because it's bright and cheerful and fun and you know just uh, I love it so much and I'm I'm at that stage where I'm anxious for feedback like okay th there's more in this one 
was, it was a higher price. I made, I it, pretty. it was a more expensive investment, and people have not seen a thing, not a peep, as to what's going in these. So it's like, what if somebody doesn't like it? What if they want their money back? Like all these, just like what? What if they hate it and they they badmouth us and we get trashed through the community? And just all this kind of stuff. It is so nerve-wracking. So I really am trying hard to make everything just nice yeah. and fun. You're like that with the the boxes. I'm like that with the diamond painting. I'm like, uh, are people gonna like this painting? Is it gonna sell? <laughs> that's what's always going through. Whenever yeah. we do a diamond painting, that's what's going through my head. That's all oh, it'll sell. I'm like but will it sell, you know, like immediately because, you know, put a lot of money in. Yeah. Which and I'm like, if it takes a long time to sell, we're not going to be able to start another generation. Exactly. Now. So that that is making things a little slow. Like, for example, I think we've got five of the Rainbow Lollipop from Generation, generation one. 1. I think we've got five of those left. From Generation 2, we have, um, maybe there's like 10 Octavian. Um, which some of those are the ones that are perfect kits, no issues with the canvas or anything. And then some of them are the ones that are discounted because just little small little places on the edges of the canvas where they surged it some of that is kind of pulling away it's not fraying it's not messing with the glue area or anything like that but it's still a little bit of damage to the very edge and so those are discounted so there's still some of those left and that could be because it's a square that could be because I mean it's gorgeous I absolutely love it I, I, I need to finish my whip that I've got going of that one. I think I'm about halfway done with it, but it's a lot of confetti. So there's not everybody likes confetti. Not everybody likes square. And not everybody is going to want a diamond paint an octopus even though I love him and a lot of other people have loved him. It's just not to everyone's taste. That's the hard thing about picking images. So anyway, we have a few of him left. And then for the other generation two that we have left are the birds and that one I just don't understand um there's a lot of that one there's what like 30 yeah. or something it's a huge canvas bright and colorful it's round it's got ABs it's got rhinestones in it um and it's just fun and it's a mixture of color blocking and confetti and I thought for sure this is an image that people are gonna like because it's bright, bold colors and just nature and birds and everybody's loving birds and all this stuff. And and it's kind of a dud. And so I don't know if it's the image, if it's because this is a generation two that's got some of those canvas issues or, you know, if there's probably just something prettier and shinier that's got everybody's attention. Um, but that one I've also put on sale but seriously, we need these to get out of our way because they are taking up space that we have to have. So, I don't know what to do with these. If anybody has any ideas, a part of giving them away, because we can't do that, obviously. Yeah, too much, you know, money um, put into it. I'm just like, uh, and see, that's what gets me worried. When I see that, I'm like, you know, we come out with two or three images, one might do good and then two might not it take you know for that I'm like so in the long run it's like we're not even making our money back yeah <laughs> and you know and I'm like oh. well and I'm worried about that for us but also with our generation three we we saw you know my sword gone immediately yeah. like it's a, 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 gone um, and then after that one, our image from Kiko, the Raven, there's still some of that one left. I think we got about 15 of those left. But then, one of the ones that I thought for sure would be amazing 
from JK Roots is um, it's called Ripple Effect. It's the sailboat on the water with the moon. That one we have still a lot of. Some of those have sold, but not as many as the other two from Generation 3. And so that makes me sad for our artists. Yeah. <laughs> um, because it's not only us not getting our invested money back, it's the artist not being paid. Um, so that just makes me kind of sad for them. But, you know, we can't force people to buy yeah. it if they don't want to buy it. You yeah. know, and we, and we know that. But it's, we're trying to figure yeah. out what new people, how can we want off the wheel. Yeah. Like I said, that's what I was telling Beth when we first started, I said, you might like this image, but how do we know other people are going to like this? And we got to sell it. And then, you know, like I said, I think that's my one worry about the, the whole diamond paintings. And then I was like, well, we know Indy's work is good and everybody loves hers. So I'm like, we should concentrate on the artist whose work we know people love and sell. Because we know those are sell because as she said, we got quite a bit of the one and two of some of the images, and I'm like... But we also can't just be a company that only yeah. has yes. one type of artwork. Oh, yes. We yes. need variety. But, it, uh, yes. But as I, I think, yeah, we get what you're saying, but that's why when I'm looking at artwork, I'm trying to go outside of my wheelhouse. Yeah. Because I'll be honest and say... Like, back when I was looking for stuff on Shutterstock, there's probably a lot of stuff I saw that I passed over because I was like, I don't like that. Yeah. Where am I going? But my main, you know, thing is, but some of these, ma the manufacturers got a certain limit we got to get, which I wish yeah. it wasn't. That way we can get a lower amount of ones were kind of like well, on the fence about. it's got to be worth their time too because yeah. it's not just the representative we're talking yeah. to there's a designer hand charting this yeah you and know that, and there's the setting up yeah. all the equipment to manufacture and then yeah. all the people that it takes to package up the drills yeah. and the kits and everything so but that you know was my main concern is you know getting Got, you got to get this now I'm like but if that many don't sell yeah and then I'm looking you know okay we've got 2,000 people in the group well this, that amount of people like this image and but well yeah there, there are people that are let, let's call them diamond painting purists yeah. there are diamond painters that will only buy from one company um, and it's not just one company that has that. There are multiple diamond painting companies that have their purists. They're like, this is the only company I'll ever buy from. Now, there is, you know, one company that has that more than others, yes. But just, I mean, it, it's just a thing. And it's the same thing with pens. Yeah. You know, people, I've, I see it all the time. I'll never buy a pen from anywhere else. I, I even see it with YouTube channels. I'll never watch anybody else on YouTube. Yeah. Which, in my mind, that one, that's kind of like, well, you're just really closing yourself off. Because once you watch all of their content, what are you going to do? Do you re-watch everything? Yeah. Or do you just watch TV or movies or something until they put out a new video, you know? But anyways. All right, we got to go again. Okay. Hola. Mm. Did you say some burritos? Went to our favorite bonfires. It's like a burrito bar. You go down the line and yeah. pick yeah. what you want to go in it. It's so good. It's like the subway of burritos. It's, don't even, I hate it when people compare it to like Subway or Chipotle. No, that stuff is garbage yeah. compared to bonfires. It is so busy here. Like, there was a line out the door, people waiting to place their orders and stuff. And trying to get out of the parking is ridiculous. We got there the perfect time. Well, we did, but also it's a little bit later than we were here last time. It's a little bit busier, but... I don't know. It's a busy shopping center here. 
like a strip mall type setup. Mm. Oh. Whew. Oh. You gonna take a nap? You got work to do, buddy. I'll get a grocery shop and then. Oh, yeah. I was about to just drive straight home. Mine's not over yet. <laughs> I'm like, the heck with groceries. You gotta eat tonight. Yeah. It's 12 o'clock, so. I yeah, said, we got time to go grocery shopping before you go to Kendall. Yeah, it shouldn't take that long to go to the food line. No, it shouldn't. Well, one, thing, one reason they're probably so busy, I didn't even think about this, today's Friday. And it's lunchtime. Yeah. In the vicinity between that place and the Air Force Base, I mean, yeah. it's a mile, if that. Yes. Packed with, you know, a bunch of airmen and cops. A bunch of men in uniform. All right. You got nothing on me, woman. I know. Yeah, yeah you did my dad, Bob. traffic on this road. I hate it. Yeah. Dang. We didn't think this through. Yeah, but I always hate coming to town. The traffic's always bad no matter what time. Mm, not always, but today is just... Fridays are the worst. Because, like, everybody's trying to get somewhere in a hurry. You know, running errands at lunchtime or today being payday. You know, they got to go to the bank or they're going out to get food because there's like a million places to eat on this road. And it's a five-lane road. You know, two lanes going each direction, then a turn lane. And that center turn lane, well, with stuff being on both sides of the road, that turn lane, people are trying to go both, you know, turn left and right. And it's a cluster F. Yeah. And McDonald's right there, even though it's a dual drive through there's still cars that trying to turn in and they get backed out onto the road blocking traffic. Dang, that gas is only three ninety nine. You gonna stop and get gas? We can. We're gonna need to. Yeah, we're down to a quarter of a tank. And it being only three ninety nine, we better take advantage while we're here. And this <laughs> turning in the wrong way. What the hell? That's right. I hope your pump is on the other side. It's not. The you're a and I'm a d because now I'm going in the wrong way because she's a d and is blocking the pump. And this fool over here didn't pull all the way up. Oh my God! Here's our road rage portion. Well, that means he's been on this earth longer and he and it's out of service. What the? Mr. Magoo, do you want to drive? I probably could get gas by the time we down. Do you want to shut up now? Yes, ma'am. Now, I'll be like all the mother fools and I'm stop my ass right here. We'll be back. Lost my cool there. Sorry. Um, I was trying to do so good about my road rage. Now, what were you saying about the Newports? Oh, yeah. Special price $7.26 per pack. He got back in the car from pumping gas. He said he was glad he quit smoking. <laughs> the price alone, not to mention your health. But, um,. <clears throat> I want to share with our community. <laughs> y'all, okay, y'all know I've admitted in the past to being a hypocrite, and I own up to it. I, I am very hypocritical at times. But, like, there's levels to the hypocrisy. <laughs> he's not listening. He's talking to his girlfriend. So, I'm just going to talk to you guys. <laughs> um, so, there's levels to hypocrisy. Well, I am... Facebook acquaintances with someone that I used to work with and I will insert 
um, screen or screenshot so y'all can see and read for yourselves. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna show her name. You know, privacy issues. I don't want to embarrass her or nothing. <clears throat> but earlier this month, she makes a big old post, a big old soliloquy, a big monologue about talking crap about the city that we live in, right? It needs a complete overhaul from da 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 da. It's trash, it's garbage. No, she didn't say that, but that's the feeling, the general tone of her monologue. And she specifically points out the fact that they put new um, pieces of art, new, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Statues and stuff. Dur down during, you know, down the middle of Center Street. Um, and they change them out. I don't know how often they change them out. But anyway, she's talking about, basically she's saying they don't need to be spending money on that. They need to be spending money elsewhere. Well, my first question was, why aren't you running for city government then if you know how to handle it? But 17 hours ago, so this is just sometime last night. It's 12.18 now. So 12 from 17 is 5 to 5 and... 7 o'clock last night. 7 o'clock last night. She makes a post and puts a photo and she just says, man, I love this little guy. You know what it is? It's a flipping art statue. How can you hate it and how can you love it? I don't understand. Yeah. Alright, you tell your story of what happened. Well... What do you want me to say, people? I might have to get used to your best pen turning. <laughs> oh, we're grocery shopping. Beth, you know, had to... I had to go blow up the bathroom yeah. in the grocery store. Sorry. She wasn't around. My phone was ringing. I didn't recognize the number. I didn't pick it up. But it's the tax people calling to see our tax taxes are ready to be picked up or returned. So. I don't think I want to call this a return. Well, yeah, they didn't call it a return either. They just said your taxes were ready, your forms were ready to be picked up. So, kind of scared. Oh, I'm about, I mean, I already need to blow up the bathroom again right now. So when I walked up to him, he was at the register walked up there and I could tell something was up because he said something about I got a voicemail and then he goes the way because y'all remember a while back I was talking about how I could tell he had something had broke or messed up out when he's out turning the pin because because the way he comes and starts to talk to me in the office it was the same kind of thing I could I could tell something was up by the way he says what he says so he was he was just like, got a voicemail you had to listen to. We'll talk about it in the car. And I'm like, why the hell did you have to mention it now if you can't go ahead and tell me now what's up? I hate that. I hate it. Don't, don't, don't tell me you got to tell me something, but say you have to tell me later. Don't do that. That sucks. Anyway, so he did that. And then I was just like, okay, whatever. Don't talk about it anymore. We'll just, you know. Well, a couple minutes later, this fool says something about it again. I'm like, shut the F up. Either tell me what it is or shut up. I didn't say that, but I thought it. So, anyways. Well, I, all I said was we got to go back to town. We did, Yeah, he said we got to go back to town. It has to do with the voicemail. And I was, that just got my wheels spinning even more. So, I didn't say anything. But he didn't even wait till we got back out to the car. It's like we were three, four feet away from the register when he said what it was. No, I was you like, said it must be something to do with the tax. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did say that because yeah. I figured it out. Oh, like, nope. uh, yeah. Yeah, so now I'm like, holy shit. Y'all know how we on a roller coaster ride when y'all go do that deep drop. Hey, that kind of how my stomach felt when uh, yeah. uh, cause I was expecting another. But, I mean, your balls are in your throat. They have yeah. to be. Mine are. I was expecting another month or two. Before they call and say that we're ready. The de filing deadline sometime in April, honey. 
But he did give me a compliment. He was like, you must have had the numbers nice and pretty for him for, be able to, for them to be able to do it that fast. I was like, I did, thank you. I worked very hard for weeks and hours and hours and hours. We got two pin turners that I told you I'd take prison time. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, depending on how bad, oh God. Depending on how bad it is, I might have to do some de-stashing. Might have get to. Get some fast income. Might have to, uh, sneak my, my vape in my prison wallet. <laughs> we shouldn't be laughing. That's horrible. So. Well, I'll show sure y'all get an update. If we cut this big, excuse me, I'm trying to watch my language now. I don't want. Well, I mean, I was you trying to earlier until, <laughs> until I just, I, I but, uh, derailed earlier. We're crying when we turn it, turn it back on, you know. Well, we're going to be Casper the ghost, ghostesses. My brother, he got a good pick of on. Yeah, we'll be right back. So, welcome back to Shit and Bricks with the Inslees. I don't even know what to say. And we don't even know what the papers. Because all they do, yet. yeah, all they do, we pay them and they give us a folder. And we got to open the folder. Well, last year, I hope she doesn't do it this year. She shouldn't have done it last year, but the lady last year, when she handed it to us after we paid, she said out loud for God and the world to hear what everything was. So I really hope. Because, you know, at first, I think that's confidential information, but also that could be pretty embarrassing for some people. Yeah. Well, I think if you owe to get, what is it called, uh, if you know, little thing that you got to put in the computer to be able to make payments. I don't know. It's called, uh, well, we owed the state last year. Yeah. Oh, God, we already know that's like $2,000. At least. It's probably double that. God, I don't want to do this. Again, I say, do you want to freaking drive? I don't know. It might stain your seat. Well, I've already stained it for the both of us, so who cares? Hmm. times where if I still was a smoker, no, I don't, I don't like vaping, I've tried it, I don't like it, huh, strawberry kiwi, no, I might have one of my gummies, it's Friday, well, I'm not going to have a whole one, we, no, that was bad, so I might just do like a quarter of one, I couldn't hang with it, I couldn't. It's only 50 milligrams, but I don't know if that's a lot or not, but. Well, Brian said the uh, pens he used to get were 92 milligrams. They used to buy from a guy in New Bern that run over California. They got little vape oh. THC pens. They're not refillable, but you got to keep buying new <laughs> Well, apparently I'm just a lightweight with everything, so. Right, but that might be why it is. Big news, but you know, I smoke like four or five hours a day. <laughs> Hello, yeah. And that's okay. See, this is one thing that we don't need to be. T I'm just gonna cut. Yeah, right. I have to cut this out, anyways. Yeah. I 
knew how Fred had feel when he got to throw the ring in the fire. <laughs> and Lord of the Rings. Well, I know what, I know what you're talking about, but I don't I don't get the correlation. I don't like it. I'm not letting my precious go. Well, honey, the precious is already gone. The money's mine. We don't have money. That's the problem. <laughs> It's uh, See this, and then you know. Mm -hmm. This is why it really gets to me when you keep talking about wanting to go on a daggone vacation. I'm like, dude, that's not where the focus needs to be. Love is blind. <laughs> I just leave you in Mexico. Bitch. Y'all hear her? Do you hear him call me a bitch? You said you're gonna leave me in Mexico. Well, I mean not leave you stranded. You'll be able to get back home. Oh, what the hell without you? You're not understanding the concept of divorce. When you first said something about a voicemail and the way you looked at me, my first thought was, oh, hell, that <laughs> wants the kid to go down there this weekend and she's not going to be able to come pick her up. And I was like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's what I thought it was at first. I just didn't know you there right the bed. You say that, but you never do. You never do. You're like, oh, I have to wait and see. You don't have a. Mm. Okay, that was. I was about to say you don't have a choice any week. That sounds really bad. I but, don't. Okay. <laughs> I, my point is, I don't care if we're freaking millionaires. You're not driving down there anymore. Sixteen freaking years. She needs to plan and put effort into it, and quit being a kid and grow the f up and take care of her responsibilities. She's done. Got three offspring and ain't supporting none of them in any way. Or if she does support any of them, it's not the oldest. She reminds me that I, can, I'll, I'll, I need to find out what this bird is again. But there is there is a bird that is a POS parent. Because it's it's not a bird that like it's not like eagles where both the male and the female take care of the offspring and take turns feeding them and like the penguins and stuff. No, nah, it, it, this is a shit bird. Okay, this shit bird. They mate, they're done. It's like a one one night stand or whatever. The dude says peace. She lays or she she gets fertilized and when she goes to lay her egg, this this shit bird goes to a different species of bird nest, knocks out one of their eggs and lays her egg in there. So now the unsuspecting bird of a different species is sitting on the eggs and taking care of it after it hatches. That is what she reminds me of. That's exactly what she is. But I didn't say peace and just, <laughs> just flew away. Well, no, no. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about her. Yeah, that that's some that's some Discovery Channel or PBS television animal show stuff that I remember from when I was a kid. Because I was like, "What the hell kind of bird does that?" But it, it it's real. It's real. Google. Yeah, Google it. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what you would type in to Google it, but it's a bird that lays their egg in another 
bird species nest and like doesn't have anything to do with the raising of the chick. I mean, it might come back and pay for the chick to get his nose pierced or something. You're not laughing at my joke. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a brown, brown-headed cowbird. The brown-headed cowbird is a brood parasite, meaning that it lays its eggs in nests of other species. The female cowbird quietly searches for female birds of other species that are act actively laying eggs. Trifling, bitch. Oh, and cockatoos do the same thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Yep, cowbirds and cockatoo destroy eggs in the other nest so theirs can replace it. Mm -hmm. They are known as brood parasite because they brood want others to raise, to raise their young. That and hits they, the nail right on the head. I'm not a brood parasite. <laughs> You better watch your next word. <laughs> I didn't know cockatoos. You need to change her name in your phone to Brood Parasite. But, yeah. It's, uh... That's interesting. I've never seen them today, babe. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can kill that to my soon-to-be prison pen pal, pen buddy. My nest, my cell block buddies. <laughs> Next time y'all see me, I come out looking like Chris Rock from that movie CB4, MC Gusto. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. I'm to, I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think it's going to be bad. I think we're going to owe some, but I don't think it's going to be like, okay, super on, on, on the movie scale of Encanto being a 10 and Howard the Duck being a 1. A lot of people hate that movie. I, I remember from when I was a kid, and I always yeah, I liked watching love it. it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't get all the sexual <laughs> stuff at all. Yeah, it, but. Duck. <laughs> anyway. Well, what's a bad movie then? Okay, you can see how we Okay, okay. On, on a scale of Encanto at 10, the top, highest, or all the way at 1, um, what dreams may come. <laughs> okay. I hate that movie. I love it, but I love all movies on those. Alright. What do you think? I think it's like a negative 20. <laughs> <laughs> like, Pee Wee's Big Adventure bad. I was gonna... <laughs> you <don't mean> <laughs> Did you hear it? No, I did Okay, Preston. I went to lay over there. Oh, honey. Put Edward on the roof. But, anyways, <laughs> I was gonna say more like a, a four or five. So somewhere in the middle. Yeah. That's pretty bad. I'm thinking like worse, we had like 30, 40,000. So I'm thinking four or five. <laughs> I look at a 10, like. <laughs> that one I look like, you look at as a 10. When you say negative 20, I'm like, this thing we're going to owe almost more than what we made. Exactly. <laughs> I cannot help. That's how my brain was working. 
I'm I'm almost in tears right now. But I'm thinking, you know, with the child, you know, the tax write off. But that ain't gonna help. I'm saying that's gonna come off. Of yeah, you're always talking about you wanting to see me cry because I'm a cold-hearted bitch. Well, today might be your lucky day. You hear that, people? The way to melt a cold heart. Tell us she owes you money. Get him in trouble with the IRS. Almost 200, then the post office is 125, so that's 325. It did. Well, I mean, yeah, because we only had a hundred dollars, remember? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I didn't know that or the PayPal. Why, why does it always happen that as soon as you spend a lot of money, like we did yesterday on getting diamond paintings for the shop started? The very next, the very next day, I mean, last year was like $450. Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. Do you want me to go in and get it? Uh, well, you I, might have to sign. Did we both have to sign? I think we both did, yeah. I'm going to drive home. Maybe. We might just walk. Let's see who is closer. What do you think we're gonna ask? I should have taken one of Kendall's pills. What do you think we're gonna ask? Like, I told you, like, more than we made. <laughs> We're not I don't. I don't know how taxes work. I don't know what kind of percentage it's supposed to be. I don't. I don't understand it. I say I'm, I'm with you on the the state most likely. I don't know because we didn't. You know, if we're taking state taxes and paying Etsy was. So I don't. No. 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 That is sales tax that our customers pay. This is state income tax that we owe. We, you, you pay the federal government income tax. You pay the state you live in income tax. And, and people say America's free. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you own something, you don't really own it because you still got to pay taxes on it every year. I'm just picturing my in my head this tax accountant's office like they do a like a a pool every year like they like people do with the Super Bowl or whatever. And they they got all their clients' names on the board like okay who do you think's gonna win and the winner is actually the worst unlucky <laughs> they got. And I think we're the ones that won. They <laughs> won something. At least you probably look good in orange, babe. Hashtag winning. Oh. Uh, ain't nothing that's out of our control. You know. At least we get a, go ahead and get an idea of what we got to do. Well, I think you're going to have to sell a testicle. I had to call them the damn doctors and men to see if they need a kidney. Yeah. Oh, God. This. It's be alright. They're not going to say anything in there. We got to. She did last year. She did last year. I don't. I think she said how much we were getting back. I don't think she said how much we owed state last year. She said the little. The little ticket thing we got to print out if you owe was in the folder. But I don't think we're going to get anything back this year. So she I guarantee you we're not. And watch it, we get $50 back or something. No. 
If we do, you can spin it at Breeze's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was, uh, you know, at, at least if it's that bad, at least we had a good last supper. Yeah. Oh, do we, are we supposed to wear masks in there? I don't remember. Alright, insert that walk into your death music here. Dun 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 We'll be back. Up how much kidney sell for in the black market. Well, hello everybody. It's about like what I expected. This does not give me much assurance. But it's definitely not as bad as my brain was making it. Yeah. But this time, actually, they went ahead and gave us the vouchers so we can pay in estimated taxes for this year. <clears throat> they didn't do that last year. But he gave them to us for this year. So, what really sucks is the taxes that we owe are due at the same time our estimated taxes for this year are. So I don't know what the hell. I don't know what to do for that. The phone's overheating. Do you have anything you want to say? Uh, where, uh, uh, I don't know. You know, we got to look at some things and figure some things out. I don't think any of us will go to prison. I don't know yet. Well, I'm just sitting here trying to figure out what I, what can I sell. Like, I need to sell some stuff to get some money. If you go to WWR, so go to payment for payment options and information. Okay, all right. So anyway, my anxiety is still up there because it's just different now. Now that we we know, now it's the next step of anxiety. It's like the different levels of, of hell, like Dante's Inferno. Like, okay, we made it to this level, but now at this level is where we're going to figure out that it done. Just... Yeah. Freaking brood parasite. All right. Yeah. Just this day just turned all around, and I've still got a lot of work i got to focus on doing when I get back home, so we're going to see y'all later. Yeah. Love y'all. Pray for us. Bye.